I had the opportunity to work with Dr. Eckert and Macaulay on the computers at the University of Pennsylvania. Now, I was uh, aware, instead of making these calculations manually on the Marchant calculator, that it could be done on a piece of IBM equipment, which was just coming into being. The Harrisburg office of IBM was only two blocks down the street from Gannett Fleming in Harrisburg. So I went down there, asked them whether they had time available, that we might have an opportunity to do part of our analysis on their equipment. They offered the equipment to me in the evenings. I'd do my daily assignment at Gannett Fleming, and I would then go down to the IBM office and work four, five, six hours additionally on the computer trying to get our work through. So it was concluded that we should order our own equipment. When we got the first equipment in about 1956, a couple of the engineering operating divisions didn't want to have anything to do with it. But then they soon realized that if they were going to stay ahead in the game, they had to do something about learning about computers. I saw to it that they came up with people to be trained, had them go to IBM schools so that they knew what the computer could do, couldn't do, how to write a program. In the early 1960s, the volume of work which we were doing for outside clients, including other engineering firms, the billing for that work on a monthly basis exceeded the billing internally to our operating divisions. We were able to bring equipment that we possibly could not have brought in to Gannett Fleming and had them bear all the expenses for the equipment. As a result, we got big computers before we as Gannett Fleming could have afforded them on our own.